Hi, everybody. Good morning. Once the ultimate Republican insider, the establishment now looks on from the outside. Liz Cheney embraced her fate and vowed to continue speaking out in the hopes of rebuilding her party. I uh, will do uh, everything I can to ensure uh, that uh, the former president never again gets anywhere near the Oval Office. In a vote behind closed doors that lasted just 16 minutes, Cheney was removed from her role as the third most powerful Republican in the House because of her criticism of Donald Trump and the lie the election was stolen. What happened today was sad. Uh, Liz has committed the only sin of being consistent and telling the truth. This is the clearest signal yet Republicans will continue to embrace Trump and the majority will act to keep him happy. To that point, a Republican lawmaker today downplayed the violence during the Capitol attack. You know, if you didn't know the TV footage was a video from January the 6th, you would actually think it was a normal tourist visit. The reason I'm down here today... And Trump ally Lee Stefanik is poised to replace Cheney. She quickly became a Trump loyalist by questioning the validity of the 2020 vote. Claims made by several Republicans not acknowledged today by a senior leader. I don't think anybody is questioning the legitimacy of the presidential election. I think that is all over with. Some Republicans have openly threatened to create a new third party if there isn't a clean break from Trump. And Cheney is focusing on change from within, appearing unfazed by the enemies she'll face along the way. The Trump political team is actively looking to coalesce around a primary challenger to you. What is your message to them? You know, uh, bring it on. If Cheney can survive Trump's attacks, it would show other Republicans they too could get reelected without his support. But that's a big if. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Washington.